Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So this time we are going off to Goa. So I just started now. It's about to be like uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Almost 6 a.m. I would say. Not exactly. So from here it is showing around uh, 10 hour 25 minutes almost uh, 608 kilometers and uh, expected arrival is 4 13 pm so right now it is 5 48 am we'll see there is no definite plan so we'll just go to goa and then we'll decide what to do This is the highway that we are starting with. It's a nice Saturday morning. Sun is not out yet. Hmm. Cool. It's always nice feeling, you know. Riding in the mornings. Wow. Like all great highways. It's a cool breeze and uh, you know sun is about to be out. We almost reached Tumkur. Now yeah, so currently Google is showing still uh, 542 kilometers and it's showing almost 9 hours 6 minutes. Maybe it is showing for the car. I didn't check if it is car or bike. Maybe by default it is there in uh, for car only. As you can see Tumkur is 4 kilometers, Chitradurga is 134 and Hubli is 342. So all this destination is what we have to go via to Goa right uh, so 342 kilometers to hubli so after hubli we have to take a left and that uh, straight it gets into goa right so that's the plan there are slight patches on the road uh, so we have to be little careful i hope there is no deep potholes uh, it can be little dangerous for uh, bikers uh, even for cars even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 you have to be very careful on the road you got uh, dogs, cows, pigs, everything on the road, plus we have potholes. You know, December time is very good for the rides. There is no rain, it's a chill climate. Like, uh, get your jacket on and just ride, you know. So good. Still, it's uh, sun is out. It's almost uh, about to be 8 o'clock. Uh, 7.48 a.m. to be exact and uh, I'm on this highway guys look at the way the highways are maintained right look at these flowers right it's really a treat to the eyes when you ride right it contributes to the joy right awesome I don't know if it is uh, visible in the video you can see all windmills everywhere windmills so that's the beauty of Chitradurga right so that's when you can see Chitradurga welcomes you right with all these uh, windmills look at that This highway along with these windmills and these flowers, wow, super.
can see it's all windy it's all windy today and any day maybe <laughs> i can just tell about today as i'm riding so it's all windy you can see all the windmills are active it's actively generating the electricity you know awesome wow no 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 you have to be little careful when you do that the double line stretching wow look at this Mada The way they are constructing these highways are awesome man I don't know like how much effort they will be putting to do this right We know the struggle we have to make if we want to build a house ourselves right or do you contract it out but still See guys are near now we are we are almost chitradurga some of them are not moving man i think tel dalna padta hai got to put some oil yeah hustle out of sell every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system i don't want to be a slave i've been doing shit my way uh, or the highway hey sir thank you um oh, fuck the guys i am fucked i want 95 octane which is uh, xp 95 at indian oil but uh, looks like they don't have it that's a problem not everybody keeps it Now I have to go to Davangere that's what it looks like so I'll have to find a Indian oil there or probably shell Let's go to Davangere that's only problem hopefully this goes the rain shows 101 but it's slightly risky that's what I feel like Let's see Signboards are saying uh, 18 kilometers to Davangere. I'm not really sure. Like, uh, we should be able to reach there because the rain still shows 91. Uh, I'm not really sure this one bar how many liters it will be. Right? I don't want to risk it by putting the normal regular petrol. Uh, right? If uh, any missing or anything comes, then it will be a problem. Before reaching Davangere itself. so lucky i am i found the indian oil pump which is having xp95 so let's go and fill it up there man this is good this is good ಸರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಸರ್ ಇದು ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ದಾವಣಗೆರೆನಾ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ದಾವಣಗೆರೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಗೋವಾ ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅದೇ ದೂರ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ನೂರು 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 ಮುನ್ನೂರು ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟ್ರು ಇನ್ನೂರು ಇನ್ನೂರು ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟ್ರು ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಯಾ ಬೇರೆ ಜಾಗ ಇದೆಯಾ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಆಯ್ತು 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 ಸರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ thank god we got xp95 at last and uh, when i filled it up it was uh, almost uh, 16 liters and uh, ninja tank capacity is 19 liters so almost we were like uh, complete reserve only right so only almost 3 liter around was there now i'm feeling so good to see it all filled up even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 
It's a lot, it's all every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh. Uh, Hubali is going to be 93 kilometers from here uh, So we are on the same highway and that's 48 So This is super um, The climate is good There is no rain You can really enjoy the ride And especially when the Wind is coming on to you I somehow like this wind blast Unless it takes me one side. Sometimes you can find some bad patches of road, especially when uh, there is some work, some construction work is happening as you can see on the right. Truck, tractor, bullock cart, you can find everything. Escaped. So I chose uh, 284 kilometers to Goa. And the projection is 5 hours 54 minutes. So here there is a turn. So we still have around uh, 203 kilometers to go. So here uh, Google is telling us to take a left. We go straight, it's Mumbai. From here it is straight, it's showing at least uh, 26 kilometer it is showing from Hubli. So that's how it is. So we have 203 kilometers to go 202 in turn so that's what it is also NH48 only just that uh, there is kind of a diversion but I don't think it's a diversion it's the same highway um, so that's what it is it is NH48 but here I can see it is uh, like a couple of lanes only and uh, it's a two-way traffic roads are good roads are good till now right uh, I don't know what's uh, the condition of the road going forward this reminds me of Kerala right so Kerala all are two lane uh, highways just that you have to be a little careful uh, when you overtake that uh, you have to properly time your overtakes Look at this bus guy coming. Do I have to take it off? That's the way somebody drives. Uh, that's not good. You have to be considerate of others also. One thing I would like to talk about trucks is uh, when it is loaded, it is definitely like a task to drive it. Uh, it doesn't move as quickly as it is uh, offloaded kind of right so that is something that we have to consider when we are banging on or honking on on a, on a track if it is a bike they don't consider only that's the way they are driving but i'm feeling really happy to have a ride like this it's been a long time I didn't go for a long ride like this. But when it comes to the ride, right, we want uh, twisties, turns and uh, we need highways, everything. A mix of this thing is what makes sense for me. Looks like there are so many patchwork done on this road. And uh, now it is smooth only. I can't see any ups and downs when you are going over those patchy, patch, I mean patch fixed areas. Yeah, so this is the same route, so it's like 4 kilometers to Darwad and here is where you have to take the turn so you can see this board here, right? Panaji is 161 Darwad is 4, Ramnagar is 57 Alnavar is 28 so this is the turn you have to take Fuel 
Hospital is a concern now. So now you have to take a left from here. And fuel we probably have to see it in the next, next city. Range is still uh, showing it as uh, so there are three bricks uh, on the fuel and uh, the range is uh, shown as uh, 223 so thinking that it can go like 150 we should be safe is what I feel so this road is what I hate Yeah, this is good, I think. Alnavar looks to be a good town, so we can probably fill petrol there. I hope half tank is still there. That's what I'm thinking. Tharwa to Panaji Road starting is something like this. I don't think it improved. If that is the case, this is the road we have to go. While coming back, we probably have to see if I should take the coastal highway and go to Mangalore, then probably Mangalore, Mangalore Highway by Hassan, right? Something like that, I probably have to see. I don't know how long this road is like this. It's been a long time man, like last time also, like 2-3 years, 2 years back when I came It was same I don't know, is there any problem? I remember the same road, the same railway cross I don't know, any legal issue, anything is there I don't think work is progressing If this is the road uh Okay, okay, okay. So that part is having a bad patch. Now this is better. So again, this is the Tharwad uh, Panaji road, which is leading to Goa, right? Obviously Panaji is in Goa, right? So um, the starting of the road was a little scary and it says uh, toll plaza ahead. So that means it's a tall road. I hope it's going to be a good wide road. Let's see. There is a tall plaza here. And uh, obviously for bikes there is no tall. You can go this side way. Oh, doggy. So it shows uh, from here 172 kilometers and uh, when I read the board before it was showing 165 kilometers to Panaji. The, were, the rope board where it was showing about uh, Tharwad 4 kilometer all those things. Right? So this road looks to be good and I guess it has some twisties and all. Right. Awesome. Hopefully there is no unexpected potholes will potholes come <laughs> in between. If not in this condition it's uh, it's fine. It's not awesome and all like uh, it's okay. I guess th I guess this road is going via different villages and all so I'd be a little careful here. 
and this is the NH67 for your kind information and it uh, we have to keep on NH67 for 21 kilometers as per Google and we have to ride like 170 kilometers to reach uh, the destination nice road is leading us to the hill look at this and this road is kind of all uh, kind of a village and um, I think there is some forest area is also coming this is uh, kind of a forest right uh, these roads are very good to ride on but just that you have to be careful maybe humps will come uh, you might not find these kind of lines on every hump maybe it is uh, rubbed off so just be careful on that this road is very good You can definitely try scratching your knees, but uh, be careful not to break the skull. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go.